Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rufneet and I am back with Project Level Up update. This is an interesting project and it is created by Sophie Alexandra here on YouTube. She is so talented and she is so creative with the projects she come up with. She recently came out with my big fat eyeshadow project. And if you haven't checked that out, I would highly recommend checking that project out because it just blew my mind <laughs> the way she's tracking the way she's giving points for each usage so yeah that's really interesting i would definitely recommend you guys check it out but let's get back to this project so in project level up you randomly roll in one palette to work on for level one and then use all eyeshadows in there at least once and hit one pen and then you level up and on level two you have to hit two pens and use all eyeshadows in there twice i have completed my level one and now i am leveling up to level two but before i share my progress with you guys if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel my name is rupneet and i make a lot of panning videos this is the palette that got rolled in for level one it's one of my favorite palettes if not the most favorite and I was super super excited because I want to get more use out of this one and it's Star Wars Mandalorian the Child palette which I like to call Baby Yoda palette but yeah this is what it looked like in the intro in the introduction I shared the two eyeshadows that have the largest dips and I told you guys that I would be focusing on one of these two eyeshadows to hit pan on which I did I focused on one of those two eyeshadows those were the bottom two eyeshadows on the left side and their names are little frog and float your crib respectively this palette has been through a lot okay because <laughs> then in my pan those eyeshadows one eyeshadow from this palette called just like tatoon tatooin tatooine <laughs> just like a tatooine got rolled in then for my expand those pans i decided to work on one eyeshadow in here to expand the pan on that one and that was my baby face and then i rolled in precious cargo the very first shade in this palette to finish half of it in my partners in cream project because that's a super shock eyeshadow and i want to get more use out of that one so yeah i was working on a lot of eyeshadows in here this is how my palette is looking like today let's take a closer look this is the eyeshadow that we hit pan on in this project and this is called Little Frog and it took me 10 uses in this project to hit the pan. It already had a nice dip going on which of course helped to get the pan faster and this is the other eyeshadow that I was focusing on and the missing eyeshadow in here is part of my pan those eyeshadows so I will be sharing the progress on this one in that project. But let's go over the total number of uses on all of these eyeshadows. So I have used all of these eyeshadows in here, including this one, at least once. And I have used the force twice and I have used float your crib four times. Because I was trying both of these eyeshadows out in order to decide which eyeshadow I want to hit pan on. And I ended up settling with this one. This eyeshadow called baby face has a lot of uses on this one because it's in my expand those pans for 10 uses for precious cargo i want to finish this half of this eyeshadow in my partners in cream project pan so that is where we are at with this palette and i also used it in multiple different looks i will try to insert pictures if i have them i think i uploaded one or two pictures on my instagram i think one picture the other one was using my pandos eyeshadows shade but yeah i'll put it here and now it's time to roll in our level two palette i'm super nervous and excited at the same time let's see which one we will get so I have a list of all the eyeshadow palettes in here. Let's change it. <laughs> Lost in Los Angeles. Hmm. It's for level two. Interestingly enough, I worked on that eyeshadow palette for my level five palette last year. And I loved working on that. I literally did. I have 20 or 22 eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, I'm working on four of them to finish in my pan that palette. And all of the other ones I have good uses on because I was able to rotate through most of them in my pan those eyeshadows and project level up last year. So I don't mind rolling in my Lost in Los Angeles palette. But this time it's for level two. 
and I'll be right back with my palette and I'll show you where I'm at. Honestly, I did not touch that palette after my project level up. None of those eyeshadows got rolled into my Pando's eyeshadows. So more or less, it looks the same. It looked on finishing level five. That one has around six pans, I think. One of that pan I hit in my Pando's eyeshadows before that palette got rolled into this project last year. But yeah, I'll be back. And this is my BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. Let's take a closer look. And that's how my palette is looking like. So well loved. This eyeshadow called City of Angels got rolled into my Pando's eyeshadows project. And then I hit pan on this one. And all of the other pans are from this project for level 5 last year. And we also have some dips going on on these eyeshadows. Like Rodeo Drive and Starstruck have humongous dips on them. And I think I will be focusing on both of these eyeshadows to hit pan on. Because when I was working on this palette last year for level 5, I was focusing on a bunch of different eyeshadows. Trying to decide which ones I want to go for the pan and which ones not to. So these two and this one were definitely part of that trial. And that's the reason I was able to get big dips on both of them and slight uses dip on this one. And I just realized these are the only three shimmers left in this palette that don't have any pen. So I think at the end of this project, we will change that. We'll only have one shimmer without a pen. I think the challenge for me would be to use all of these eyeshadows at least twice because I have so many other eyeshadows I want to focus on, especially mattes in my <laughs> pan those palettes. But still, I'm so glad that this got rolled in. It has really nice accent shades that can be paired really well with other eyeshadows I'm working on. For example, this one is going to pair so well with the blues in my Pando's palettes. Greens, purples with neutrals and also the blues. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette and I'm so happy that this got rolled in. And this is going to be our level 2 palette for this year's project level up. We started this project with a bank. This palette got rolled in for level 1 and then this palette. Super, super fun. Honestly, I'm enjoying this project a lot, mainly because all the palettes that got rolled into this project were very appropriate for the season, even though this is more of a spring-summer palette, but still, I don't mind it. And I hope that next time I see you, I would have pan in both of those eyeshadows. <laughs> But we'll see. And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video. I will see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.